Welcome to group time for honeybees and squirrels. So glad you're here. I'm very excited because it's a new month and I made a very um, colorful rainbow sign. And we'll talk about why there's some flowers on there because March, March means that it's almost time for spring. And springtime means that things are coming um, out of winter, they've been closed up and they have been dormant or sleeping and now they're ready to get more warmth and more sunshine and to grow. I have seen some signs of spring happening. We live in the Pacific Northwest, which means we didn't have very much winter. It wasn't as cold as some places and it doesn't stay as cold as long as some places. So we're really starting to warm up, which is exciting. And that means things are going to be coming out of the ground and blooming. We'll talk more about that. But I wanted to talk about because it's a new month. That's exciting. It's March 1st, which means it's the first day of March. Oh, that's not very dark. Here, let me use my darker marker. Well, that rhymes. Let me use my darker marker. Then you can see it better. March 1st. Well, we had so much fun doing our family pizza event and we were so excited when people could join us and have fun and enjoy making some pizza. And I thought I would extend some of the fun and learning here in our group time. So this week we had some more pizza stories um, and uh, we will talk more about making some pretend pizza today. So let's begin. I wanna tell you what we're gonna do. Number one, we're gonna welcome each other using a rhyme, like darker, marker, rhymes. It sounds the same at the end, listen for it. We're gonna talk about the weather. We're gonna sing that favorite song, I Am A Pizza. I think I'll be able to put it up on a video because it's a lot of fun to see the real pizza. And then I also have a book that I want to share, a quick story about pretend play that you can do with your child. Or if you are just watching, you can maybe get your animal or doll and pretend to make a pizza out of them. You'll see what I mean. And then we ask the question, what is round? What is round? And then we say goodbye. So here is the order of what we're gonna do in our meeting. And I'm going to begin. So today we played a fun game. I hope you liked it. So what we did is we all hid. Oh, we're having so many rhymes. What we did is we hid. So I'm going to bring my friends, Zena and Coda, and we're gonna play the welcome game that we played today. I hear this is coming unstuck. I'm gonna stick it better, coming unstuck. Hi, Zena and Coda, will you come and join us so we can sing to you? Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Nice to see you. So this is Zena and this is Coda. And we're going to play the game we played this morning to welcome each other. So when everybody came into Zoom, I said, go ahead and hide, which means come all the way down here, right? Oh, good hiding, Zena and Coda. So Zena and Coda are hiding from the camera. They just went down below the camera. They didn't go anywhere. And you didn't either. You stayed right there and you listened and you listened for your name. And I'm going to sing the rhyme. And let's see if Coda and Zena can hear the sounds that sound the same at the end of their name, just like we did when we were together. A one, a two. A one, two, three. Listen for your name, listen for your name, listen for your name if it sounds like Boda, Soda, Toda, Rhoda. Oh, Coda, Coda, that's me, Coda, that sounds like Coda. Why, yes it does, Coda, good listening for the sound of your name. Coda, Rhoda, Boda, Soda. Everybody wave to Coda. Hi, friends. Okay, Coda, you stay right here and we're going to sing to Zena, okay? Oh, shh, don't tell her. It's a surprise. <laughs> One, a two, 
at one, two, three. Listen for your name, listen for your name, listen for your name if it sounds like Bina, Sina, Tina, Rina, Sina, Sina, yes, did you hear how that sounds like your name? Yes, I did. Everybody wave hi to Zina. Should we do me? Okay, you guys stay here. I'll hide. Ready? Listen for your name. Listen for your name. Listen for your name. If it sounds like Bishel, Sishel, Nishel, Kishel, Michelle. Yes, it rhymes. Good listening, everybody. That is how you know it rhymes. It sounds the same at the end. Thank you for letting us sing to you and have fun with your rhyming name. Can you guys sit next to me and then we'll finish the rest of our meeting? Okay, my friend. That was fun. I hope you had fun too. We'll play it again the rest of this week and maybe even later on. The next thing that we did after welcoming each other is we checked out the weather. Now, I have to tell you, when we checked out the weather, someone looked outside earlier and it was cloudy it was cloudy this is what they saw and they drew a picture and they gave a weather report it was wonderful and it was a good observation it was cloudy at their house and they drew a cloud well i bet that the sun was out there but it was behind the clouds because now at my house it is not cloudy anymore. It is super sunny, super sunny. So right now the weather is sunny, but you know what? Weather changes. That's what we're learning. Weather definitely can change. So thank you for the weather. Now I'm going to try to share my screen and see if we can't go ahead and listen to the song and watch them make a real pizza. Are you ready? Take a few volcano breaths while you're waiting for me to cue up the music. If you know this song just like you did before, go ahead and sing along because it is fun. Here we go. Did you notice anything different about that song? We have some friends in our class who speak French and that song was all in French. Did you hear some words that you know though? 
I did. So some words are the same in English and in French. I'm going to send you both versions of that song so that you can hear the English version and the French version so you can notice the difference. But I think that was fun to hear a different language. The next thing we're going to do is how about like we did in our group time, we did a roll and count and then we hopped that many times. So this is what we did. We oh, tossed the dice and then I showed you how many. Did you count them? Let's do it together. One and two and three and four. Did you count four? Yes. So the next thing we did was we went ahead and moved our bodies and we counted to four. And remember when we're doing exercise, I give us a beat in the middle. So we went one and two and three and four. And then we came back together. Let's do a volcano breath before this story. Make a mountain. So for this story, I am going to use my friend Coda, and I'm going to act out the story. It's a pretend story. If you have a blanket, or if you have a doll or a stuffed animal, you can act out this story and pretend to make a pizza with your toy. Let's try it. Oh, let's take a breath if we need to have a breath to help us wait. Oh. Pardon me, it didn't you do the right thing. So sometimes things don't work just like we want them to. Let me see if I can't make it work really quick. What else could you guys do while, at, while you're waiting for me to make it work? I wonder. Hmm. Could you count? Could you take some breaths? Could you, hmm, what else? Oh, you could draw. You could practice your name. I see what's happening and I have to make it work. I'm sorry, give me just a minute. This part was a little harder than I thought. I'm looking for the story called Pizza Pizza. And there it is. Now we can begin. Thank you for being patient. Pizza. Remember to get your uh, stuffy toy or your blanket because we're going to start the story. Pete's Pizza by William Steak. Pete was very sad. Can you show me your sad face? Do you have a sad face? He was not in a good mood. He was supposed to go out and play ball with the guys and it decided to rain. The weather was rainy. So Pete's father couldn't help noticing how miserable he was. So he said, I'll cheer you up. I'm gonna make you into a pizza. So he picked up his boy and he put him on the table. So you can pick up your toy and put him on the table. Then he put him down and he kneaded him like he was pizza dough. Can you knead your toy like it was pizza dough? Then he stretched this way and that like it was pizza dough. Then he tossed him in the air. He gave it a whirl and a twirl. Next, he added some oil, generously applied. It's pretend, so it's just water. Then comes the flour. It's really talcum powder because we are pretending. 
and then some tomatoes, something round and red, but they just found some checkers for pretend. Pete can't help giggling when his mother says, I don't like tomatoes on my pizza. He thought that was funny. All right, says his father, no tomatoes, just some cheese, sprinkle some cheese. And that was just pretend paper. How about some pepperoni, Dee? The more round shape for pepperoni. Oh, he's looking delicious, just like our pizza. He can't answer, he's only some dough and stuff. But when that dough gets tickled under the arm, it laughs like crazy. Hey, 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 hey. Pizzas are not supposed to laugh, his father said. Well, pizza makers are not supposed to tickle their pizzas, Pete said. And he laid back down. Well, his dad picked him up and he said, it's time to put you in the oven. And he went over to his couch and he pretended like it was oven. And he said, oh, our pizza is nice and hot. And he used his oven mitt and he pulled it out of the oven and he brings it to the table and he says, it's time to slice our pizza. So now you can pretend to slice up your doll or your blanket or your stuffy. Oh no, the pizza runs away just like another story we've read together. And the pizza maker chases him, come back. Well, the pizza gets captured and given a big hug. And now the rain has, has stopped and the sun has come out. And the pizza decides that it's time to go out looking for his friends. And he grabs his ball and he heads out the door for some fun. And that is the end. Did you like that story? Did you have a pretend toy that you rolled out like pizza? That you stretched and pulled like dough? That you sprinkled on some toppings? I'm gonna sprinkle on some pretend cheese on top of my toy and some pretend green peppers on top of my toy. They had fun pretending. I hope that you're having fun pretending at your house. So we also talked about what was round. What did they just make that was round? Yeah, and Pete's pizza, he was just pretend. But I made another pretend pizza. This box is from a place that I like to get pizza where I live, pizza. And I put a pretend pizza in here. Which is just those sticky rounds that we have at school, like we talked about in our group time. And I just put a paper bag around the end to look like and pretend it was the crust. And if you want to do that at your house, in your kit, there's going to be a sticky round. Or you could just get some paper and be creative and make your own. I took some yellow paper and I folded it back and forth, back and forth. I'll make a video to show you how. And then I snipped it with some scissors. So you can make some sauce on your pizza. You can add some pretend cheese. If you wanted to use your dice, you could roll your dice and put on that many things. Oh, look, I got a four again. I'm gonna put on four pretend mushrooms. One of our friends likes mushrooms on his pizza. A one, and two, and three, and four. And you could roll the dice again. Oh, what number did I get this time? How many? I got two, one, two dots. I'm gonna put two pretend green peppers. One, and two. So that is a fun game that you can play and sing. You could even sing it to the song. You got some oregano. And then you can pretend to eat it. I hope you're pretending at your house. And we also answered the question, what is round? 
Do you know some things that are around? If you're watching this, look around. Hmm. Do you see anything behind me that is round? Today I don't, but I brought something round. This used to be on the wall behind me, but somebody took it down. What's this? It's round. Do you remember some of the other things? You guys shared round things. Do you remember? There were some things that were round. Do you remember Miss Debbie drew some things that were round? Do you remember what this was? That was a round shape. And when we add some other shapes, it turns into the sun. The sun is round. Yeah, so I'm gonna use my eraser off on my whiteboard and I'm gonna make it something else. Miss Debbie made something that looked like this. It was big. Do you remember what that one was? I think I have one here. Let me see if I can find it. That was a button. Buttons are round. What else did we see? I have some tape. Tape is round. Now we got really, oh, I have one more. I'm going to do this one just because it's not going to happen very much more. I'm going to erase this. What happens if I put one smaller circle on top of one medium circle? on top of one larger circle. What do I make then? Does that look like a, you guessed it, snowman. We talked about a snowman just last month when it snowed, a snowman. Those are things that are round. Throughout this week, look around your house and see if you find some more things that are round. Now we have some really clever friends and somebody brought out something that was this shape. And they said, this is round. And I said, you're right. And if you turn it like this, it becomes a new shape. So I thought this is a great time to talk about it. This turns into a three dimensional shape because it is not a flat round circle. It's a three dimensional shape with volume. It's called a cylinder. And I'll write it. Cylinder. Now another clever friend brought out another thing and said, I have this, it's round. Now their ball was pink and it had some spiky things on it. This is what I have at my house. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's my son's soccer ball. Soccer balls are round, but they also have volume. So they're dimensional. They have three dimensional round shape is called a sphere. This is kind of hard to say. We'll practice it more. Sphere. I'm going to write it. Sphere. And there was one more shape that was not round, but someone picked it up and said, this shape is round, do you remember? And I said, yes. And you also found another really cool three-dimensional shape that is a dice. So when we see it this way, one, two, three, four, it is a square, just the face of it is a square, but because it has multiple sides and dimension, it's a three-dimensional shape called a cube. I'm going to write cube. So we were just looking today at things that are round, but you guys are so clever. You found some three-dimensional shapes that we could talk about. A cylinder. It has a round face right here. A sphere and a Q. Thanks for being clever. So we have done all of the things on our list 
We welcomed each other with a rhyme. We checked the weather. We watched and sang to I am a pizza in French. And we read the book, Pete's Pizza, and pretended. And then we talked about what is round. Now it is time for us to sing goodbye. Will you join me? A one, a two, a one, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Don't forget to breathe because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Our gathering is over. I hope you've had some fun hearing the rhymes in your names and learning more about pizza and what is round. And the sun is still shining right now at my house. I hope it is shining at your house. Have a good day.